Hello, everybody. Let me uh, refresh here so I can see your uh, your chats and whatnots. Come on now. Show me my own video. There we go. Welcome to Bruise and Blades. There we go. Change. Wow, I'm really crooked here. Let me try and straighten it up a little bit. There we go. Uh, hey, everybody. Welcome to Bruise and Blades. I will warn you all before we get started, it is really windy outside. Uh, we're having another, another windstorm, so we will see if my internet connection stays good or not. That's always kind of iffy when it's windy for some reason. I don't know why. The cables are under the ground, but when it gets windy, that still happens. So I uh, uh, didn't forget my clock change. I came out exactly 8 o'clock. So take it. i got to plug my phone in or it's going to die here during it. <clears throat> Uh, if the time changed, I actually would have been on earlier. There we go. I had to plug in. I thought it was, my battery's going to die there for a second. Hey, Blue Collar, hey, Jeremy, Chad, Kyle, Banter, everybody who's on here. Bruce, hello, welcome. It is Bruce and Blades, our usual things. I don't have a whole lot to talk about tonight. There is some new stuff that I got in. Um, do the pass around and uh, one other addition, and um, then we're gonna uh, we're gonna continue what I started last week. Recommend me a knife to review somewhere around two hundred fifty bucks. Uh, I have one liter in the clubhouse right now, but uh, I still I'm not sure about that. Uh, I'm gonna announce it next week when we do this. Who won that? You're gonna win one of the Hogue little work pads. And our usual Weeha toolkit and stuff. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, so we're just going to keep that going. Uh, that's kind of what we're doing for the giveaway tonight because I still, I, I'm not going to get paid by my Google ad revenue until like the 21st. So we got a minute to get that figured out. So next week, I will announce who the winner on that was. So uh, BP69 is Benchmade Aileron, stupidest knife ever. Um, not sure I'd go that far, but uh, yeah, the review is not terribly positive on this one. Um, yeah, um, Smooth Criminal, so I think that's a, if I can get my hands on one, they're sold out pretty much everywhere. I have not done that yet, but yeah, I would love to have a Smooth Criminal. I, I lust after one of those. Yeah, I think they're more like 300 or 350 even. I know they're cheap for a Medford, but they're still rather expensive. Um, uh, da, da, da. yeah, oh, and Zach, didn't you loan this to the? The pass around group, yeah, the aileron was in the pass around group. I think, I think Zach loaned this out to us, so um, yeah, it's all right, I guess. It, if they just done it like a normal knife instead of adding a bunch of gimmicks on it, it'd be pretty cool, but uh, it's just kind of a gimmick, and um, I don't like gimmicks. He says, as he has, uh, as he has um, wrestling paused in the background so I can go back and watch it when this is over, <laughs> and I say, I don't like a gimmick. Uh, I did just get this yesterday. Um, this is the Kaiser Beg Lighter, the new titanium one. Oh my lord, this thing is pretty. Look at that blade. I don't like Tantos, but this one is freaking gorgeous. And it's nice hollow grind. It's super thin behind the edge in this area, a little thicker up near the Tanto. Oh, I like, I love the look of this. It's great. I'm nowhere near doing a full review on it, but um, it's pretty cool. We're locked up on my screen. Is it going to be locked up on your screen? Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, it's pretty great. Before we go any further, i got to open my beer. i got to show you what it is. I think I had this a couple weeks ago, too. Three Heads Kind. I still have not gone through it yet. I got given a bunch of this by the company. Uh, not for this show, but for another show that I do a comedy show thing that I do. So we're still burning through it. It is an IPA. It's pretty good. 6.8% alcohol. Pretty good. It's kind of their bread and butter one. I don't want to spill it, so I'm not going to tilt it too far because I opened it too soon. Very, very tasty. Very, very happy, though. Very, very, very happy. Ah, yeah. It is good. And then, um, so what else we got come up this week? At some point, this probably late this week, I'll be doing this one. Um, I did just do 
uh, this one yesterday, if you guys didn't see it, the new S30V of the Griptilian. I have since put a deep carry clip on it because I had an extra one. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to try to hang on to this. I'm going to try to um, try to bond with the Griptilian. I've never really been that a big giant of a fan of the Griptilian in this basic plasticky handle version. I know a lot of people love it. I'm going to try. I'm going to spend some time with it. Uh, and then this is also from the pass around. This is not mine, unfortunately. But man, this thing is pretty. This is the Best Tech Ornetta, their first M390 knife. I have no opinion yet on the steel or anything like that, but, uh, oh, it is pretty nice. It is pretty darn nice. You just received a mystery grip tilling in 20 CV. Oh, I think I saw that, didn't I? Didn't somebody just send you one? It was mighty nice of them. But I like this kind of bronzy sort of finish they put everywhere. God, it's pretty. It's so nice. I wish that um, I my hands fit the mini grip. The mini grip just doesn't work in my hands for some reason. I know I'm in the minority on that, but uh, I even know people with bigger hands than me that like it fine, but it, it does not hit me right. And then I realized I've had this American Lawman for 15 months, and I've never done a long-term update on it. So this is going to get its very own long-term update since it's kind of a mascot for the channel because of the song and all that stuff. We're going to be doing that. This is an XHP hollow ground version. They don't make these anymore, unfortunately. But I'll be uh, I'll be doing that. Um, I don't have sausage mitts, though. I've got skinny little fingers. I don't know why. Just the mini grip just doesn't hit me right. Uh, but, yeah, the only problem I have so far with this bag lighter is well, you got to be really careful not to touch the lock bar, and there's a whole lot of lock bar there. If you touch the lock bar at all, it doesn't open, and uh, the flipper tab wouldn't kill him to put just a just a little bit of jimping back there just a little bit because it's a it's a bit of a slippery slippery flipper tab but man it's pretty i was gonna wait for the uh drop point and then somebody sent this to me as a loner and i thought you know what i don't need the drop point and before he sent it, he said if you like it make me a trade offer whatever you think is fair you don't have to tell me what it is so uh congratulations sir you're gonna get you're gonna get 10 Z Hunters back. I think that's a fair trade. I'm kidding. I don't. I don't even own any Z Hunters. I'll send them something cool for it. But uh, yeah, pretty nice. I do really like it. The pocket clip looks good. It's just such a pretty looking knife, man. It just looks great. Yeah, it is kind of micro techy looking. I, w I will say that. Um, I I'm fond of it. I'm I'm a big fan. Um. So yeah, if we want to start in again, you guys have some recommendations for something for me to review in that $250 range. I will say the uh, one that I have leader in the clubhouse right now, what I'm thinking about the most is the uh, MKM Arvenus. I think is how you say it. Arvenus, Arvenus. It's an M390 Italian made knife, Lucas Burnley design. Uh, pretty new company. I want to try something of theirs. It's like a conglomeration of a bunch of other uh, Italian manufacturers. So, um, yeah, I kind of want the tiny SCT at the 022. Somebody was offered to send me one of those, uh, but it was customized, so I said no. But I'm not going to buy one of those. I'm not going to buy one of those. Um, yeah, the full size 154 seam with thumb studs, but I think, I mean, I I, I prefer the S30 the S30V to the 154, and I prefer the sheep's foot to the thumb studs. I got this one honestly with the thumb studs because that's what they had at REI, um, but and they owed me some money because it's a co-op thing. But uh, I I'm very disappointed that the sheep's foot now is not hollow ground like it used to be. So yeah, what is the black one next to the grip? Again, oh, this is the Best Tech Ornetta. Ornetta. I don't, I don't know how to spell it off the top of my head. I don't know if it's Ornetta or Ornetta. Um, but yeah, it's very disappointing that they don't do the hollow ground anymore on the sheep's foot ones because I that was the thing I liked the most about them. But and apparently, I guess they don't even do it on the twenty CVs anymore. I thought they did, but I guess that they quietly phased out too. So yeah, so if you get the sheep's foot, it's flat ground, just like. Just like the thumb stud one is. So, uh, uh, never get caught in the hole, Parson. I don't know what that's all about. Yeah. 
Uh, da -da. Yeah, I, someone is recommending an auto. I don't, I can't, I'm not supposed to carry autos here, so. Uh, oh, Super Steel Steve is here, I should know, because something vulgar was shouted into my chat. Uh, da -da. Yeah, what, 63 watching, cool. Um, Super Chat is open if anybody wants to kick in any bucks. That's always nice. I do always appreciate when people do that. Um, oh, I do have one funny story, and I'm not going to talk about about it um, anymore because I talked about it in the last live show. But uh, I went to REI and I bought this bench made, and I heard some old geezer muttering to his wife about bench my bench. I heard him actually say the sentence: "Bench made took people's guns and cut them up." I, I heard a, an old dude say that to his wife in an REI store. And then they went out and got into one of those tiny little motorhomes with uh, Alabama plates on it and drove away. That is a true thing that actually happened. And I just thought it was hilarious. I thought it was very funny. And this nice young girl was um, came over, you know, because in, in REI they have everything locked away in the cases. She was opening the case the girl who worked there, and I saw her head like whip around and look, and I said, did they say what I thought they said? And she goes, yeah, what's that about? And I had to explain to her what was going on. I just thought that was very, very funny. He actually told his wife that Benchmade went to, they took people's guns and cut them up. That's, that's what he said. And then they drove away to, I assume, an RV park to make some meth. I don't know. It was a ratty, tiny little camper thing probably built in like the late 80s it was hilarious um but i was a good boy i didn't say anything i let it go i let it go yeah i know they didn't take anybody's anything um yeah color lover's video is pretty pretty even-handed on it um yeah they they would work you were right parsons blade work they would work on the p large as well if i could get mine apart Mine's completely locked tight, locked tighted to hell. So, uh, yes, a Rangers cozy. I am a Rangers fan. Always have been, always will be, forever and ever and ever. Yeah, it's Best Tech Ornetta. Um, lightning, like the little knife, or like the uh, the weather phenomena. Um. Yeah, I, I I assume they would, but because they're they they're, they kind of just you know they're the same thickness. It doesn't matter what width they are because it's both flat surfaces, so it should be fine. Um, first time viewer, welcome aboard, Robert. Nice to have you here. Oh, Tampa Bay Lightning. You're a Tampa Bay fan. Hmm. Expansion team, new fan. I don't know. You've, they've been around forever. When did when did Tampa Bay come in? The nineties. I think it was sometime like ninety. Was it ninety? 697 yeah i thought so yeah see i'm a sports person i know sports red wings i can respect one of the originals you you sing american lawman and you but you don't get the reference okay here's the reference is that i i said in the first video first review i did of this that i didn't like the logo because it looks like the logo from a 1980s television show that would star chuck norris and I said, American Law Man. And then uh, Baz on Blades wrote wrote a song, which is back in my video somewhere. There's a full version of the song. And um, and it's very funny. And if you really want it stuck in your head, go watch the full version of the song. Because he wrote like a whole, I think it's about a minute, a minute and a half maybe. It's really, it's really good. It's very funny. And I did a stupid little intro to it. Um it's it's pretty funny. I he did a very good job. He put way more effort into that than he should have. Oh, cool! Thanks, Austin. I appreciate it. Um, are the Lightnings a hockey ball team? Yes. Flyers. I hate them, but I can respect liking the Flyers. Um. I'm a Rangers fan because I live very close to um, Buffalo, and when I was a young child and didn't care about sports, all I heard about was the goddamn Sabres, and I got sick of it. So when I started to like sports, 
I chose a New York team other than the Sabres. So I picked the Rangers, and then that's the same reason I'm a Jets fan, is because I don't want to be a uh, Bills fan, because I get sick of hearing about it, 24 freaking 7. So I picked another New York team. And then I like the Knicks and the Yankees. Which the Knicks is kind of the only choice. Well, I guess we have the Nets now, but, you know, who cares? And then um, I had a... Uh, and then the uh, the Yankees are just... I'm a Yankees fan because I value my sanity, so I don't want to be a Mets fan. Because they are the most frustrating team ever. I do like the look of the Mets gear, though. The Mets gear looks great, but oh well. Um, uh, ashamed I'm from Florida. I lived in Florida for four years. That's all I have to say about that. Blue collar survived. <laughs> I lived there. I survived Florida for four years. Yeah, unfortunately, this isn't mine. This is the pass arounds. Um, but I may have to get one. I do have to say, I am more compelled to buy this than any best tech in a while. Except I do really want one of the all gray starfighters. And every time I'm ready to get one, something happens and I don't pull the trigger on it. Because that was a great freaking knife. I hated the colors of it. And then they came out with a plain gray one. But the Ornetta is really, really nice. I love this finish on it. I would get it exactly like this. This is the first one I've liked. As much as the Starfighter. I like the engine a lot too, but that's a totally different, you know, animal. But, uh, it's just ergonomics on her. Just awesome. It's very comfortable. I'm not a fan of blades that are 100% belly, usually. But this one does look, does look pretty, pretty nice. Uh, you're suspicious of Best Tech's heat treats after seeing some tests. I think they had a problem, like, last year with one batch of D2, but I don't, I think they're fine now. I know that I watched, um, a lot of the, uh, um, LTK's Love Them Knives tests, and the Best Techs all came back pretty good, so, uh, that I saw anyway. So, have I tried the KPL, the KPL Heavy? No, I haven't. I, I just Instagrammed him yesterday and asked for some, but I haven't gotten it yet. I'm eager to, though. I like my KPL stuff. And I heard the KPL Heavy does not smell. Um, I, I like I, I like the smell of the KPL. It smells like cherries to me, but uh, the regular. But you, you get sick of any smell after a while. Uh, do you get any stick on your Grips Access Lock? Yeah, this one does have a little bit. It's wearing out, though, quick. You know what? I honestly, the last um, two or three... Uh, Benchmades I've gotten in had that stick and it always went away within a few days. I don't know. It is annoying that if it goes away in a couple of days, then why don't they make it go away before they send it to you? But um, it is what it is. This is the best tech or best tech fit Benchmade Aileron. I'll have a review of this up in a couple of days. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll look at that. I look at that Parsons, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything about that. It's not that horrible. Well, 56 is kind of bad. 57 is, eh, that would be right. What mountain bike should I get for 1500 Man, I'm so out of touch with the mountain bike uh, world, I have no clue. Uh, Trekker Specialized were always the best that, um, I, is it grip tape? Kind of, kind of, I don't know. They they say it's laser etched, but it's Audi. It's not any. So I don't think that's right. I think it is something that they still kind of finished. They stuck on there. I don't. I this knife could be fantastic. Uh, I don't. I, but they. You'll wait till I see the. You'll see the review in a couple of days. It's just. It could be great, and I don't understand why they did a couple of things that they did. Um, I don't know. It's supposed to be for like some two-hand open ninja thing. Yes, it does create friction when they cut. Yep. Um, I don't know. Oh, thank you, Zach Stuff. I appreciate appreciate that. It is a gimmick. It's a, meant for pilots for tactical reasons. I used to have a pilot's license, and I actually did get trained by the military how to fight with a knife, and I do not understand it. It should be something that I would understand and like, and I do not. Very comfortable handle, though. Carries great. Mm. Um... I think a lot of people are passing on the aileron. I, I have not heard about it exactly blowing uh, blowing the doors off of their sales numbers. 
uh, should I get an Endura 4 in VG10 or Chaparral in CTS XHP? Well, those are two totally different size knives, so I don't know. I would get the Chaparral because I think that the uh, VG10 plastic handle ones are not, not worth it. Um, somebody asked something I wanted, I missed it and I wanted to answer it and then I went, um, oh, I missed one. There was a question up here I wanted to answer and I missed it. No, it's not a pocket shredder. It's just a, it's just kind of dumb. Um, oh, I missed somebody's. I apologize to whoever's. Oh, why is the Sage 5 so much better than the PM3? For me, it's better than the Para 3 because uh, it's just the ergonomics. I just like the feel of it so much better in my hand. I just really like it. I like that wire pocket clip a lot better for the way that I carry it. Even now that I have a um, deep carry clip in um, on my uh, Para 3, I still like the wire clip better. Uh, do you own any throwing knives? No, I've kissed a girl, so I don't own any throwing knives. I'm, I'm kidding. That was really mean. I know throwing knives are probably a lot of fun. I do own a blowgun, so I should not be throwing shade <laughs> to people who own throwing knives. But I just, uh, I have no interest in owning throwing knives. I have a blowgun. I sit here and shoot stuff around my office with every now and then. I've got a little tiny short one. Um... And, uh, little native chaparral or dragonfly. Ooh, now that's a tougher one. Hmm. I do have my dragonfly right here. I actually was carrying it today because I just was around the house. I didn't go anywhere. So I just had my dragonfly just sitting in the bottom of my pocket. Uh, hmm. I'd probably still say little native. I'd probably say little, na little native, I think. Yeah. I really wish they'd hurry up and come out with that freaking slip joint little native. I really want one of those. Uh, what's the Tonto? It's the Kaiser Beglider Titanium. Excuse me, Titanium. S35 EM. By the way, I think they're about 180 bucks. I'm not, I'm not sure. The Para 3 Lightweight, I'm extremely excited about. If you're not in a hurry, I'd hold out for that Para 3 Lightweight, because I think it's going to be pretty freaking fantastic. Um, I think it's going to be pretty great. Let's shuffle some stuff out here. I don't even know what I have laying around. Put away American Law, man. And um, I guess I'll pull out the North Arms Gaha 2, which I've, this thing has barely left my pocket since I got it last week. Oh my God, I still love this thing so much. And you know what, here, I carried this yesterday, so just to keep you traditional people happy, look, there's a case traditional. Everybody says, you never carry your talk about, I carry them. You guys don't watch the videos about them. That's why I don't ever do videos about them because nobody freaking watches it. Um, Skaha want, yeah. Somebody's going to have to come and get this from my house if they want it. Um, and, uh, I'm just looking. Native compression would be cool, yeah. Just got a Positron. GEC 44. You know, I think I had I had one of those a loaner to review. I've never owned a GEC. I had a loaner to review. The problem with the GECs is they come and go so fast. Like, I want a specific one, and then I go to get it, and it's gone, and I get pissed off, and I don't look anymore. I guess I'm not willing to go through the process to buy a, a GEC. And even when I review them, when I get one, they're, they're gone. You know, like, I'm reviewing a knife that no one can get anymore because they change shit all the time so it's just really frustrating as a reviewer to try and review GECs. Any mass drops? Yes I have my uh what is on that? I was cutting something purple. My Keen, this is probably my most carried mass drop one. Um, my uh my Mordax is loaned out to a buddy so I don't have that around right now. He wanted to try before he bought so I've got this uh and I have my uh Gent, my Ferrum Forge Gent. I think those are the only ones I've got like accessible. My cases are behind me. If I run low on things, I'll pull some stuff out. But um, yeah, that Protec Mordax is pretty flipping sweet. I have to say, I do like that a whole lot. 
anyone know of the mass when the mass drop perpetual will be come back out? I know it's coming out. I think I want to say I heard April, and I know it's going to be in colors. Uh, that's going to be the big change for this run. Is it's going to be exactly the same, but it's going to be in a few different colors. Yeah, the blade on this bike layer is just ridiculous looking. I mean, honestly, guys, I said this on, um, not to keep going back to this, but you guys keep bringing it up. On Instagram, I said it, and I'll say it in the review too. This is probably the best looking blade on a production knife I've ever had into review. It is just looks gorgeous. It's just beautiful. It's not perfect. It's also very slicey, but it's not perfect. They didn't like there's a slight bit of a smile right there, but man, just the finish on it. Oh, we need to laser etch Chuck Norris's beard on the American Lawman blade. I agree, that would be a very good idea. You should send that to uh, Cold Steel's marketing department. I hear they're I hear they're very receptive to everyone's suggestions. <laughs> that was sarcasm. Uh. Yeah, you know what? BP69, you say you don't like the Blade X, you don't like Tontos? I don't like Tontos either, but this one is just so pretty. It won me over, dude. It did. I don't. This is the only Tonto that I guess I own. I'm going to trade him something for it. I haven't figured it out. Um, but I don't own any other Tontos, but this is just freaking gorgeous. I like the two-tone change on it. Like, even my wife thought it looked good, and she hates knives, so... Um, uh, it was... Uh, it's a bag lighter um, titanium. Um, uh, uh, oh, do I still like the bug out? Yes, I actually have it up here because I just put it in a video the other day. I don't carry it much during the winter uh, just because I don't carry much lightweight stuff during the winter because I'm wearing like heavy pants and coats and shit, so I don't need to. I just throw, I just throw whatever in, you know, my pockets and my coat. So, um, but during the summer, that thing is, gets carried so, so, so much. Um, uh, I would like to try the shaman. I miss my shaman. Thanks, Kiefer. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, the super chat's open. If anyone's kicking a few shekels, I always appreciate that. Uh, yeah, you like to try a shaman. I wish I still had my shaman. I miss it. I miss it. Miss it very much. Uh, what's your opinion on the Grimzone Norseman? Never held one. I think it looks ridiculous. Um, that's, that's a personal thing, though. If I was going to drop a lot of cash on a knife, that would not be at all on my list. I would probably get a Todd bag something or other. I'd probably buy the most boring Todd bag ever, but I do really like his designs. Uh, bug out 20 CV G10, please. Preach it, Randy F. Preach it. We should start a, we should start a, uh, one of those uh, online petition things to get him to do it. This is I'm drinking the Three Heads, the kind. It's very very good. Very widely available here in the Northeast. I don't know about other places. Uh, yeah, exactly. At five fifty, maybe, but yeah, nine hundred bucks for a Norseman. Ugh. Mass drop pull. Yeah, I don't know if you can do that. No such thing as a boring Todd bag. I'd find a way. No, I just want like a carbon fiber handle uh, Todd bag with one of his gorgeous blades. Oh, they're just those blades are just so pretty. I actually had a Todd bag pass through here the other day. Long story was not mine. Uh, got sent to the wrong place. And um, it was uh, um, a uh, somebody else's. It was the Anzio Osteo. Oh my lord! It was very very pretty. They told me to open the box and verify that was in it before I sent it to the proper person. So I was just doing what I was told. Oh, oh my god! It looked good. Yeah, that Tashi Heat Seeker looks cool too. You're right. That's very good. Blue Collar says, Benchmate's 20 CV is soft. This, isn't that like the second or third time tonight you've said that something was soft? Maybe you're just a hard, hard man, Blue Collar Survival. Maybe you're just a hard, hard man. Um, Oh, somebody crashed a mountain bike. Been there with you. Let's see, what'd you do? Did a jump and hit my head on a tree. Had somewhat of a hard landing up in a ravine. Your helmet came off. Your, right, your glove came off. Your right arm looks like a strip of bacon. Did you get a concussion? You gotta be careful with that shit, too. I mean, I had, I've had i had lots of concussions. You gotta be careful. Concussions make a sound. At least for me, I learned. It went... Uh, they make... For me, they make a sound that kind of sounds like... Bang! 
like that's when I always knew I had a concussion when I heard that sound. So I've had five, four or five, something like that. I probably had six, but I've only had four. Yeah, I've had four confirmed, one almost certain, and one maybe. Shouldn't the heat seeker come before the baby machine and star boy? <laughs> yeah, just just for biological reasons. You're right. That's probably the more. That's probably more the order that it would go. It would be heat seeker, baby machine, star boy, or heat seeker plus baby machine makes star boy. Um, yeah, but <laughs> he takes people's gun swings, cuts them off. Didn't I see you in a REI the other day? Yeah, I didn't want to get into the whole conversation about Benjamin again. I just thought that was hilarious. I just couldn't believe I heard somebody say that. It was so funny. Um, I wish I'd have been recording something. I almost did. Like, I almost turned my phone on because they had, like, a lot of knives. Like, a lot more than they usually have in stock. They had, like, all the new Benchmade stuff in stock. Like, all of it. And they never do. And I almost turned my phone on to record and do, like, a little birdshot-style thing there in REI. I, if I would have, I would have caught them saying that. It would have been so funny. Um, almost bought the bug out, but almost felt like it was too late. Yeah, and you, you didn't feel like it was worth a hundred bucks. Watch my uh, video about my, with my daughter, um, uh, picking like what knife costs what. Um, spoiler alert: she agreed with you. <laughs> she, I think she put the, I think she put it at um, thirty nine dollars. <laughs> I think it's what she guessed that it cost. Oh, Sean, you did twice. I don't know if you meant to do that, but you're in aviation for the U.S. Marine Corps and you still don't know what the aileron is for. Yep, I don't get it. I am bewildered. I am I'm full of confusion. Springtime is knife time at REI. Yeah, apparently. Apparently. What do you... Are, do you fly in the Marines, Sean? Or do you just work in the... Uh, in ground crew and stuff? I was in Air Force, but I didn't fly either. I was uh, uh, command and control. FRN or whatever feels cheap. Yeah, Grivery is what they call it, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it is, isn't the best feeling. You know, I, I think it feels a lot better on the uh, bug out than it does on... Where did I put... The Griptilian that I just had out. I think it feels a lot better on the bug out than it does on the Griptilian. Which makes no sense because they're made in the same place. But it's just a thing. I think that this feels cheaper than this does. Which is weird. Maintainer? Cool. Yeah, I was uh, I was even less than that. I sat in a bunker and yelled at people. That's kind of uh, what I did. People would call me all hours of the day and night and say something happened and then I had a list of people I had to call so uh, uh, do you think that the grip tilling is now worth the money with the updated steel maybe it's a little bit it's a little bit better value um, I don't think I don't think that that steel change was dramatic um, I, I don't mind 154 CM I kind of like it um, and now uh, um, Blue Collar Survival will say it's too soft. <laughs> no, but I'm just kidding. But no, uh, I, I like 154CM. I think it was super easy to, to sharpen. Um, it wasn't a big deal to me that they switched to 20, their S30V, but I totally get why they, they would have. I think a lot of people will like it better. Um, CABP69, I assume you were saying gotta go. Not, um, I don't know. I can't think of a good thing for GTG now than that. Fair and Forge Buck is cool. Yeah, it is cool. I've got the uh, um, Dow. If I had a Buck, I wouldn't have got the, the Dow, though. Um, you watch Top Gun twice and you still don't get the ALR on. That's a good one. That's a good one. I was... I will not say what my... Uh, thank God it didn't wind up being my call sign in the Air Force, but a lot of people call me Maverick in the Air Force because one time I played I played volleyball shirtless with my dog tags around my back of my neck wearing jeans and aviator sunglasses like the Top Gun scene wasn't doing it on purpose I was known as Maverick for quite some time but that is not what my I, I wound up with a much infinitely cooler call sign when I finally got to pick one so that was good um, I really thought somebody was going to make me do that 
I think you would have to know guys, the guys fighting style for Aaron to make sense. Yeah, I guess. I, I, I'm not like a knife fighting expert, but I took a bit of training in the military and I didn't, I didn't under, uh, didn't understand it. Um, Slicey is too school, too school for cool. No, I just, they, they foolishly let me choose my call sign and, uh, you had to look up and make sure that nobody else had it kind of thing. And, and my first choice I didn't get, and I don't remember what it was. It was something Star Wars related. And uh, that was not available. So I picked something ridiculous and I, it was available. So I, I had a cool one. Everybody was very jealous of it. I gave it away when I left. I gave it to uh, one of my underlings. And he's still in. So he still has my old call sign. No, it has to be one word. I don't remember what it was, but uh, I wound up with Overlord was my uh, my call sign. I didn't fly; it was just we were on the radio a lot, so I had I had Overlord. Um, do you wish the grip had full liners like the mini? You know that stuff doesn't bother me. The liners or lack thereof. I I, I know that. I think that was a thing that was a big deal back in the day um, when the materials weren't as good. But I think modern knives, like even like, you know, the, most of the cold steels don't have, and they're meant to be hardcore freaking knives. They don't have liners. I don't think, uh, no, you can't do Count Chocula. It's two words. It's got to be one word. So, yeah. God, what was it? It was something Star Wars, and I can't remember what it was. I have no, I have no remembrance of what it was now. Um, pretty cool Star Wars shirts on Mass Drop. Yeah, I've got I've got I have so many Star Wars shirts. Thank you, Planes Crafter. Appreciate it. Yeah, the uh, super chat is open. Um, yeah, the G10 grip telling us one solid knife. Yeah, it's pretty freaking solid. That wasn't Skywalker. It wouldn't have been that. It might have been Vader. It might have been something like that. It was Leia. Yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what it was. It was Leia. Yeah, that's what it was. Oh, no, I do remember what it was. And somebody had it. It was Akbar. I wanted Akbar. Because I love Admiral Akbar. And uh, I asked for Akbar, and somebody had it. So I couldn't. I never met the guy who had Akbar, but. Still thinking of doing a meet and greet before Blade Show. Yeah, I'm going to try and figure something out. I'm going to. I'm trying to get a bunch of other. And God, some of you guys are on here. Blue collar, other guys. If you're going to Blade Show, um, I'm trying to get something together. We could all like rent a Airbnb together or something instead of getting um, uh, instead of doing um, you know, hotel rooms and shit. But I'm not getting many people too interested in it. Maybe people are just afraid to stay with me. So um, yeah, Akbar would have been cool. And then I could have gone. It's a trap. And that, that's that's all I wanted to do. But Overlord was cool too. I did like that. Uh, am I into handguns? No, not anymore. I used to be. I used to own a, a 40 caliber Beretta 96, but I I got rid of it. Never carried it. I did a lot for a while, and then just kind of gotten out of it. God, I can't believe it took me that long to remember it was Akbar. I've hit my head so many times over the years. I don't remember anything. Um... Da -da. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a bunch of other YouTubers together, and we'll have our own little YouTube shack, and we can, we can, we can, uh, we can film a pilot for a reality show. It'd be fun. Yoda would have been a cool call sign, but I'm sure somebody had Yoda. I know there was a Kenobi. I did run into Kenobi. There were a lot of Star Wars call signs in my job. Uh. Star Wars and Knives, my favorite things. Yeah, there's a lot of crossover there, isn't it? Because I think we all like to pretend we have lights, like little tiny lightsabers in our pockets, maybe. Maybe that's why. Parsons Blade Works was on here, so I have to pull out his. This is coming out this week, too. I've already recorded it, the review of his excellent scales for the bug out. I should have pulled that out when somebody asked about the bug out, but this isn't my bug out. This is a loner bug out. So I've already recorded that, so that'll be out this week sometime. 
I'm gonna put away the very pretty Kaiser. Um, Binks wasn't a thing back. Oh, yeah, Binks wasn't a thing back then. Uh, this was I was I'm much older than you think I am. Apparently, no, there was no. Uh, it was way way pre prequels. Um, what was I gonna? There's something specific I was gonna grab here. I don't remember. Oh, this is one that snuck back in my pocket a lot lately. I haven't talked about this at all, but the little little black fox bean hasn't had a clip on it for a very long time, but this is a fun little tiny slip joint. And they're like 30 bucks, 35 bucks. Really like them. Prepare yourself for balls and bourbon. Oh, Lando, that'd be a cool call sign. That wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I, I panicked when I took Overlord because I just didn't know what else to say. It was like kind of one of those things where somebody was... I was 19 years old and somebody was yelling at me. So I overcompensated and chose a ridiculously over-the-top name. Um, and see you later, Okan. Have you seen the production beam and M3? Oh, yeah, I have. That looks really cool. That looks really, really nice. I like the Serge Pinchenko designs. They're all pretty cool. So, so many balls. So many balls. Despite my name, I have the normal human amount of balls, which is seven. Right? That's normal, isn't it? That's what my mama says. Got the 940 with the lightsaber scales on the table. Yeah, I do, actually. I didn't think I did, but I just did a Benchmade video the other day, so I have all my Benchmades out. So they're all here. I'm not just sitting here wallowing in Benchmades. I just happen to have them all out. <laughs> so, Because I did that uh, Griptilian one a couple days ago. Yeah, these bug out scales are awesome. Parsons Blade Works. You can find them on Instagram and stuff. They're really, really good. And he's, he, uh, there's a link to his site on this Instagram. I'm going to, the re video that's coming out later this week, don't have a link to all of his stuff. He also makes um, phosphor bronze washers for the uh, Pilar, which is cool. So, as you can see, if I can see it on the camera there. Yeah, no more Teflon bushings for me. They're very nice. He was here. I don't know if he still is. But uh, it doesn't really make it flick that much better or anything, but it, they're going to last a hell of a lot longer. Star Wars theme knives, I'll take them. You know, the only one I've seen is the uh, um, that Boba Fett uh, Microtech. At Rick Karen's, the Goliath is great. Yes, the Goliath is an awesome knife. I really, really do like it. I sold it to a, a friend of mine. I kind of had it pre-sold before I got it, but um, it's pretty flippin' sweet. Spaceballs is great, too. Yes, it is It is very cool. Oh, yeah, they called it the Bounty Hunter, but it's totally a Boba Fett knife. Spaceballs is great. Bill Pullman is actually a family friend of mine. I don't know him well, but uh, my mother and father were very good friends with Bill Pullman. He's from my hometown. Um... How old am I? I am, I am uh, 40 and 3 years old. Was it two score and three years? I'm 43. Uh, do you go to air shows, Genesee? Yeah, I, I've worked at the uh, air, the Geneseo air show before. When I was a kid, back that was back when I was still flying. My dad was a pilot and um, was a flight instructor, and I had my pilot's license when I was like, before I had my driver's license. I don't have it anymore, but I used to go and do um, work at those shows. It's fun. Um, uh, Sean Choi, Call Sign was Overlord. That's one of my favorite we weeb shows. You know, I would like to say it was for a reference to something, but it wasn't. I just picked it because I thought it sounded cool. It wasn't a re reference to anything in particular. Um, Stormtrooper Arius, yeah, that's, I don't think that's a full-on custom. They offer those every now and then. I think every now and then he makes a few of them. Yeah, and I, I don't know when Overlord came out, but I was, I picked that Call Sign in 90. Four, so it was a long time ago. Um, first knife in a space ball lines would have to be the Schwartz. Yeah, it'd be like a long, it'd have to be an OTF, right? For the Schwartz, I think it would have to be. Um, uh, 
going to ask Bill to make a Vader themed area. He'll make you whatever the hell you want. You were born in 93. Wow, good for you. I was born in 75. 1975. I was on somebody's channel the night. I was on Jimmy Slash's channel. We got to talk about great 80s TV shows and stuff. And you really show your age when I knew like all of them. Warhog's cool. Um, you reviewed the Schwartz. Well, there was the T. I reviewed knives designed by TJ Schwartz. Airwolf, yeah, that was one that came up. J. Michael Vincent just died the other day. He died the day we were talking about it. I, I didn't know that. I, I kind of, I honestly kind of thought he'd been dead for a while. That was my bad. Um, do a Kardashi name it Spock. Yeah, that's a good one. Mass Drop Dow that you plan on making a Boba Fett thing. Oh, that'd be cool. That's a good one for that. Do you have the the techno patterny one? That'd be cool for it. That's the one I've got. Um, he was 74? Wow. Wow, that's a he was he, he had a good run then. I was trying to convince everybody how uh, Miami Vice is still a good show today. If you watch my Miami Vice today, it's still a good show. Especially that three or four episode arc where they had uh, Phil Collins in it. And they all decide to go bad guy and, and you know, Crockett and Tubbs are in the Ferrari. They decide they're just going to go straight up murder this dude. And they're playing in the air tonight, driving in the old Ferrari at night. It, it's, uh, oh my God, that's a great scene. Ernest Borgnine was like his, um, uh, like maintenance dude. I think it was a single seat helicopter. Uh, Ernest Borgnine. Wow. Never hear that name very much anymore. Uh, oh, cool. That does sound cool, Austin. Um... Let's turn a Ferrari and go whack someone. <laughs> I do not know of what you speak, Chad. I I disavow any knowledge of what you're saying. You just cut yourself, Kiefer? Is it, that might be my first... That's my first admitted injury during this uh, live show. I'm sure other people have cut themselves while watching this. I should probably have insurance of some kind or something. And you guys are going to sue me and say, Brian made me laugh and I stabbed myself in the thigh. What is a first good knife? 50 bucks. Uh, one of the cheap Civivis. I think one of the cheap Civivis is a good one. That's the first thing that comes to my head, so I'll stick with it. Yeah, the Backlash is probably the one I would go with, but any of the $42 Civivis are, are good deals. Um, check out the Tropin if I sent one to review. Uh, send me an email, maybe. I think I'd, I think I'd wind up bashing it though, so I'm not, I'm not really sure. I don't, I don't like getting knives in that I know I'm not gonna like. It's, it's just, if when I know ahead of time, it's just like, yeah. Um, Modus is a good choice too, for around that price. Um, how long have I been into knives? Not that long. Um, I mean, I always carried them. I was in the military and stuff. But since I like started buying a bunch of them, three years. Paladin's a good choice too. That's a little over fifty. It's two dollars over fifty, I think. Um, any fixed blades? I have a couple. I've got a. Um, I've got a Mora. Cause of course, everybody's got a Mora. And then I have, that's in a camp bag somewhere. I haven't seen it in quite some time, but I think I still own it. Um, and then I have uh, a uh, CRKT, little small one. I don't remember which one it is. And then I have a SOG seal pup that I was issued when I was in the military that I have next to my bed. At, and underneath, it's like uh, attached underneath my uh, nightstand. Um 
case the bad guys come to get me. In case the church comes to claim me. Um. Yeah, I don't like any things I don't like. Isn't that weird? Uh, no, it's it's just uh, oh, you're welcome for for my service. Gun and guns. It's just Air Force. It wasn't real military. It's just it's the Air Force. That's always people say. Were you in the military? I'm like, well, I was in the Air Force, kinda. Um, and I never went anywhere. Um. Oh, there's somebody asked that's something I want to talk about. Uh, uh, oh, the Statera is really nice, too. Oh, God, where is my... Oh, you know what? My Statera is downstairs. I was using... I actually was using it the other day, and I left it. I know exactly where it is, but I left it. Um, K-Bar fixed blade. I really want... If I bought another fixed blade, I'd get a K-Bar. I had one, um, and, like, when I was a kid... And I don't know whatever happened to it. And then by the time I got in the military, the Air Force is cheap. And they didn't issue K-Bars. They issued uh, SOGs. Mm. I think some of the coolest aircraft. Yep, I didn't fly them. I was command and control. I sat in a bunker and yelled at people. It was actually a very stressful job. It was extremely stressful, but it wasn't dangerous. Uh, I was very safe. I was always under feet of concrete. Um... Yeah. Dad was in World War II. Cool. Yeah, my grandfather was. My grandfather was in the Big Red One. Um, can you do a battle to the death with a subvert and a quiet carry IQ? Well, I don't have either, but aren't those hugely different in size? Isn't a subvert the, a gigantic thing and the quiet carry is very tiny? I think I might be being trolled here. Um, I think I'm getting a crux, but I don't know what designed to get I, I I'm one of the rare humans who isn't a huge crux fan everybody else loves them to pieces I think that the flipper tab is crazy and uh, I don't I don't like it I would get a Mordax instead but they are a lot more Mordax costs a lot more I have a Dow somewhere it's in a it's in one of my cases here I'm not gonna pull it out right now I like the Dow a lot um, see you later Bruce Yes, it was a joke. Okay, I just have to be sure. I thought you were trolling me, but I wasn't sure. Who's my favorite designer? Um, yes, for Voxnays. Oh, jeez. Sure about that. I, I hiccuped and hit my hit the thing. Viper Balloon. That's a really cool. I really want to get one of those sometime. Maybe that'll be the one that winds up winning my this contest. By the way, we're still running the contest. Comment down below. Or in this chat, whichever you want, about something you think I should review later this month. Around 250 bucks. I'm getting my uh, my Google paycheck. So I'm going to buy something with that. So um, Mordax is just a button lock crux. Yeah, but it doesn't have that giant flipper tab on it. And that's what I don't like about the crux is that giant flipper tab I think is pretty ridiculous. I'm not a fan of big flipper tabs. That's what she said. Um, Mordax is Justin Delica. What about death between the Reich Hussar? I, I don't have the Reich Hussar. If I ever get one, maybe I would. That would be a good idea. But what's my favorite mass drop knife? Either the uh, probably the Dow. Slightly more than the, it would go. It would go Dow. Mordax Gent. No, oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. I'm off. It would go Keen, Dow, Mordax, Tied, then the Gent. Um, I have the I have the Keen here. It's the only other one I got out. My Dow, I said, isn't still in that thing. And my Mordax is off with a friend, so it's off visiting a friend. But yeah, the Keen is freaking, freaking amazing. Yes, Jeremy is correct. If you're only gonna have one, get the Keen. It's it's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, just this blade, I think, is what I like about it the most, right? I mean, it's just the... I don't know about you, Jeremy, what your favorite thing about it is, but, man, it's just... Uh, I just love that blade. It's just as sim simple as good. Such a just simple, good blade shape. I really do like it. Oh, yeah, I, I've held a Curtis F3. I don't... I 
don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Everybody raves about them, and I picked it up, and I just felt like I'm, I'm the only one that doesn't care for it. Um, can I still? Can you still get the Keen? I don't know if you can at the moment, but you're going to be able to again shortly. It is one of their going to be one of their regular production ones. Been painting all day. Are you painting uh, your house or are you painting French girls? Yeah, I just made an artsy reference. Paint me like one of your French girls. I'm doing a lot of accents tonight. I'm sorry about that. I don't know why it is. I've actually had a really shit day. Um, and I should be in a much worse mood, but um, I'm, I'm not. I had a friend pass away today. It's very surprising and upsetting and I didn't know he was sick. Guy I hadn't seen in several months and uh, found out he passed away today. Passed away yesterday, actually. I found out today, so that sucked. Um, but, uh, yeah, he'd been sick for years, uh, but I, I hadn't heard that he was that bad, and then he was just gone. Um, thoughts on the HEA designed blades? Um, yeah, I have, I, well, I kind of have one still, uh, I'm your Huckleberry Lomi one. I just did a review on the, um, yep, the Hunter, uh, but it's in a box ready to go back to him tomorrow along with my, uh, Spyderco Capara. He's going to loan him my Capara and saying thanks to loaning me that, so, um, um, yeah, and then I'm going to, I'm here hanging out with you guys, which is fun, and then I'm going to wrap it up here in a few minutes, and then I'm going to go back and, uh, watch wrestling. And then go to bed, and then I got to get up tomorrow morning and finish my goddamn taxes. What did you miss? Um, there was an there was an alien invasion. It was brief. Um, we we thwarted them with our tiny knives, and everything's fine now. Um, all of us uh, have extra eyes, which is weird. Um, I don't know why that happened. And um, one of my one of my feet is uh, is now a singularity but other than that I think we got out okay um got snow nope we've had uh pouring rain all day fast lane sucks so far yeah I watched the first hour and it 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 sucked uh but you know you gotta watch it so I have it paused I have the network paused in another window and then I can that's the best way to watch WWE pay-per-views now by the way bio Nick if you're a, a fan Get the network, pause it as soon as it starts, let it play out for about an hour, hour and a half, and then go back and then you can skip over the parts that you don't want to watch. It's my favorite way to watch it now. You still got snow there? Yeah, no, ours is all gone now. It was, well, I mean, there's still piles here and there because we had a lot, but... The Bastinelli creations. No, I have not reviewed any Bastinellis at all. Can you patina M4? Yep. Uh, just don't do anything and wait. Uh, and the network on your Roku. Cool. Um, any yellow snow? I don't know. I didn't make any this year. I've managed to make it to the bathroom all year long like a big boy. How's the Terra as a slicer? Excellent. Excellent, 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 excellent. It's really, really good. It's uh, it's one of the sliciest knives that I have. It's really great. There is um, a full review of it up where I, I give it lots of praises in that regard. Super slim behind the edge and just and not thick stock, and it's just a full flat grind all the way up. It's excellent. It's one of, becoming one of my favorite users. I think it might actually make my most carried for next month video. I've been I've been using it a whole lot on the cardboards and whatnot. And I love 14C28N for slicing stuff because it takes an edge so easy. It takes such a nice sharp edge. It works great. Uh, what you say is my sliciest knife. Um, sliciest knife, it was probably the TRM, new, well, the Viter was a bit more, but I don't have any more. The Neutron I don't technically have right now, but I think I'm going to wind up with a back. Um, it's a long, long story. So I would say the Neutron or this, probably. I like that bug out. Yeah, unfortunately this isn't mine. This is a loner, but it's uh, the uh, Parsons Blade Works. Um, still waiting on the pair of three lightweight. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. Any thoughts on Murray Carter sharpening? I do not know who Murray Carter is. Oddly enough, we don't all know each other. It's really weird. 
Um, I've never had an Anthem yet. I really want to try one. Especially in light of recent events, I really want to try one. But yeah, the Skaha is just... How can you not love that? On a blade that weighs nothing. Yeah, the Neutron is fantastic. So I will say, I'm, I'm going to kind of start to end this with this. Um, I didn't say who I traded with and what I traded. Uh, but since you guys keep asking me, and um, he said it in the comments to this video um, about the Skaha. Um, yeah, I traded with Daddyo EDC. I traded him my uh, Neutron and a couple bucks to get this. And he already has a new, he got a neutron coming. The, it arrived the same day that mine, or it arrived a day before mine did. So we have two neutrons. So I imagine I'm probably going to wind up buying my neutron back from him or buy the other. I think he's going to pick the one he likes the most of the two. And he said I could buy one back if I wanted to. So that's, I technically traded a neutron for this, but I'm probably going to get a neutron back. So, um, that's what happened with that. That's how I went up with this. I didn't see you answer, ask any questions, Ghost Killer. I'm sorry. What did you ask? You said you made a statement. That's not a question. All I see is a statement. I don't see any questions. I just see something about 9-volt anodizing. Oh, well, now you made me feel bad, but I didn't see you ask any questions. Wave bigger next time, I guess. Yeah. Oh well. It happens. Um, uh, Terra versus Steel Will Piercer, which wins. Perhaps you will see a video on that shortly, Kyle. No, I am going to do a video about that. So I'm not going to spoil it. Um. You don't believe in ghosts? Yeah, I couldn't see ghosts. He's a ghost. That's why I couldn't see it. Should you get a lawman? Yes. If you don't own an American lawman, the answer to that is always yes. Drew, you like your slim... Oh, you got a slim midi? Yeah, I want to try one of those, too. Do I still have my streak? Uh, do I? No, I don't. I don't. It was just too similar to other stuff, so I... I sold it. And I gotta, you know, feed the beast, as I always say. Mass drop Dow versus Buck. I like the Dow better. But if someone already had a Buck, I wouldn't say it was worth it to buy the Dow and vice versa. You want a smaller AD15? That would, but that would defeat the whole ridiculousness of it. Where is my AD15? Here it is. Say, I just had it. I just had it out the other day. I love this big, stupid idiot. This is just a big, stupid knife, and I love it to tiny little pieces. It's just big and stupid, but it's it's great. It's one of my becoming like one of my favorites. I do wish it was another color though, and I wish it wasn't so grippy. But and I saw even Nick Shabazz agreed that he thought he called it a gem. And I agree with him. It is. It makes no sense whatsoever, but it's. It's fantastic. Not everything needs to make sense. You know, I also I also really love French cars. I've had a couple of or I've had one two French cars in my life and I loved them loved them and they made no sense whatsoever. You know the best thing about owning a French car is um uh if you have one in America. I had a Peugeot 505 Turbo. Anybody know what a Peugeot 505 Turbo is? I had a Peugeot 505 Turbo, and my favorite thing was to loan it to friends because they'd be like, "Hey, I'm gonna run and get food. Can I borrow your car? Like, be at work or something?" Yeah, and then and then I would just watch my watch and see how long it took for them to come back inside, and ask how to, how it works because nothing was in the place it should be. You had that exact shit car. I loved my 505 Turbo. Mine was great. Mine was really good. Um, never had a problem with it. It actually, and it was so comfortable, and it just, and it was everybody just, I loved everybody walking up and say, what in the hell is that thing? 
I love that car. I'd buy another one in a second, if, but I don't think any exists anymore. I think they've all rusted into little lumps on the ground. Um, what's my favorite YouTube channel? Oh. Ooh. Um... Hmm. Knife channel, you mean? Knife channel? Man, I'm not I'm not sure. Who do I watch the most? I mean, I did a video a while ago about ones that deserve more. I don't know. I mean, I know everybody now, so it's not really fair to say, because they're like kind of my friends. So I wa I just I watch my friends. So I can't really I can't really pick one because I know most everybody now. Um my favorite YouTube channels are all car ones. I actually watch more car YouTube than I do knife ones. Um, Shabazz and nothing fancy. Shabazz is good. I'll leave it at that. Um, Doug DeMuro. I know Doug. Yeah. Doug's awesome. Um, he's a cool dude. He almost reviewed my car on there and then um, it never worked out before he moved to San Diego. But he almost came and reviewed my car because I have one of the only unmolested original Honda CRXs I think left on the planet. But it's a little bit too rough to be on his channel. LTK and you are my favorites. Oh shucks, Bio Nick. LTK's good dude. JT and Zach are are two guys I, I really like a lot too. And Cedric and Ada always makes me laugh. AKB. I don't know what AKB the that is um advanced knife bro is good makes me laugh everyday city carry i envy his editing skills um <laughs> which one of these knives has the best second kind of cool what's your pou yeah i'm i'm sure i'm sure nothing fancy he's a nice dude but and i know he was a military officer and he just Everything he says reminds me of every military officer I worked for that I couldn't freaking stand. Oh, advanced knife, bro. I, I wasn't up on the vernacular, man. I'm sorry. I don't know all you cool kids and your acronyms. Please shout out LOD gangs. I don't know what that is. Although I guess I just did, right? I hope it's not something terrible. Um... Boker Mini Quake and it's worth. I've never touched one. Don't know anything about it. Just jump back on. I hope I didn't miss too Koch fun. As I say, Ed Koch was not fun. Look it up, please. I'm not your monkey. I'm not going to dance for you. I'm trying to run a live show here, man. Um, Nothing fancy. Lost me a zip ties in the spite. Oh, come on. Really? He, he, he lost you with a zip ties in the spite. Oh, we've all done it. Didn't we all try it, at least? You got to tell me everybody here had had the zip tie on the spidey hole thing for a while, right? Didn't we all do it? You didn't do it? No? Am I the only one? I did. I did. Oh, it was totally unnecessary. I didn't keep it for long, but I tried it. I gave it a shot. I'm the only one who experimented with it. There you go. Here's some of you. It does work. It does really work. Oh, the zip tie thing is if you take a... Uh, where does the spider go here? This is a bad example of one, but um, if you take a zip tie and you put it on right here um, and you leave so that the, the square part's sticking out, when you, when you pull it out of your pocket, it'll catch and act like a wave like an emerson wave and whip the blade out it's kind of neat actually it was kind of cool but um yeah it'll destroy your pockets in a matter of days but uh i, I tried it snaggletooth works much better snaggletooth is pretty darn cool but that's not for spider coats you have to have something with thumb studs i don't know how to get yeah i can take these i do still have a snaggletooth left over should try snaggle toothing this. That would be cool. But oh my god, that would destroy your pockets so bad with this jimping. Yeah, I shouldn't do that. Um, Dragonfly should be pushed into a tactical role. Yeah, <laughs> it's in a WROL environment. Yeah, I don't ever know what he's talking about. I'm sure he's a nice guy. It's just not my thing. 
He doesn't do that many, that many videos anymore, does he? I don't see him anyway. Um, me, Quaken, and Titanium. I've never seen it. Do you have any Viper knives? Um, I had a, a Dan One. I guess I still technically own it. They've had it for a while, trying to fix it, and I haven't heard anything back. I guess I technically have a Viper Dan One. Um, I would need to just post a video about the gent. Maybe I'm just not. Maybe I turned the bell off. That might be a thing that happened. But uh, I'm going to wrap this up because usually uh, Jimmy Slash goes live at 9.30 and he's a good dude and I like to uh, not step on him too much. And we've been at this for an hour and 10 minutes. So um, let's uh, let's wrap this up. And uh, yeah, Jimmy Slash, G-I-M-I-S-L-A-S-H. I will pop over there later too if my... Um, it's J-I-M-I, -I, not J-I-M-M-Y. Um, if wrestling's boring, I'll pop over. If wrestling's good, I won't. But uh, I may see you guys over there. But yeah, I don't like to step on him. He's a good dude. So wrap this up. Later, skaters, as he said. Yep, and uh, I got to find a good sign. I have to figure out a good sign-off for, uh, for these things. But uh, have a good one. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you next week.